Marriage is very, very important in South Sudan. You know, women are really defined by their ability to get married and have children. So it's a very, very important institution for communities. It has a huge social value. But for younger women and girls, when they're forced into marriage, it really can have very negative impacts. South Sudan is considered to be one of the hotspots of child marriage globally and about 48% of girls between the ages of 15 and 19 are married. There are not clear statistics on how young but there's certainly evidence that we ourselves have collected that some girls as young as 12 are getting married in South Sudan. Dowry is a very, very significant factor in child marriage in South Sudan because it is paid by the husband's family to the girl's family. In some of the pastoral communities, it's usually paid in cattle, which have great social and cultural and economic significance. Girls face violence at every step along the way. So girls who try to resist marriage, girls who run away, are assaulted, are brought back, are locked up. Girls often face violence once they are married. Younger girls are much more vulnerable to domestic violence than older girls. We don't have a lot of children institutions that can accommodate girls that run out from their house because of early marriage. They are vulnerable, you know. They don't have income, they don't have anything. They are depending on their families, so it will be difficult for them. So the most important thing is like government to increase the level of awareness and government provide more children institutions who can accommodate those uh, girls that run out from the early, because of early marriages. The younger you are when you get pregnant, the more risks there are that you might die in childbirth, that you will have serious long-term health issues relating to early pregnancy and childbirth. 
Nggak mampu aja aja deh, masih laba ya. Kamu saya menutup, iya tali. Setelah nusa nusa aswa. Akhirnya zaman nona wala duda. Zaman nona gara wala duda. Jangan agak madar tala, udar kata lama. Gua tak mahu sejak jiduan ada magas. Sanjana aja tala. That is senior 3A, senior 3B, senior 3C. We have the female students are 204, and then uh, the male students are 501. Still, you will find that the number of boys are more than the number of girls. In South Sudan, generally, people don't tend to put uh, effort in girls, such that the girls can go for studies because people have got these uh, cultural beliefs they feel that a girl there's no need to take a girl to school because a girl has to stay in the house and she has to get married and once she's married she will get cattle to the house and get money The first step that we would like to see is we would like to see a very explicit ban on marriages below the age of 18. We need a law that is clear and unequivocal that any marriage that involves a child below the age of 18 should be declared unlawful. We need training for the police. We need resources to be put aside to develop shelters. We need to make sure that the health system is able to provide care and support to pregnant teenagers to girls who are trying to resist marriage, and to young mothers. So, you know, you need a comprehensive strategy, you need money, and you need political will.